you guys, I just got the coolest package in the mail. So, sorry if you can hear Herman <laughs> devouring his dinner right now. But, if you guys know the brand Wonderful, they're known for their pistachios. They just came out with seedless water, or <laughs> watermelon. Can you tell I've been studying all day? Seedless lemon. And so they invited me to this virtual cooking class. These are what we're making. Uh, lemon ginger wellness shots. This amazing kale salad. Lemon gnocchi. And then olive oil and lemon cakes. And they sent all the ingredients over. This is an apron. Oh my god, with lemons on it. How cute. And then a little muffin tin that are shaped like lemons. And like all the olive oil. Everything that we would need. And I'm gonna join a virtual cooking class with them. How fun! This is the kind of PR that like, I actually really, like this is my kind of PR. What is this? A lemon zester. Whoa! That's so cool. Oh my, and a cutting board. Matt was just saying we need more cutting boards. Ah, oh, perfect. So cute. Wonderful teeth with lemons. They're juicy, they're zesty, they're naturally seedless. And crisp it up a little bit. And this warm kale salad is super delicious. All of those brown, beautiful fat solids um, to create like a caramelized butter situation. Guys, it smells amazing. Brown butter sauce. Yum! Never done that before. You guys, this is so... Good, let me show you the recipe. Like oil cake, I'll use this. Here's the recipe we use. Screenshot this. I guess you can have the, this one too. This vinaigrette is delish. Guys, so, so good. This was such a fun class. This is so good. It looks really plain, like the gnocchi, but holy shit, it's so good. And then for my salmon, I just did the rest of the Dijon mustard that we used in our salad dressing. And then sliced lemons, no seeds, guys. How convenient. Honestly, so easy to cook with these. I don't really, I didn't realize how annoying seeds were. And then just some dried dill. Not me rocking the lemon apron on my today's. Um, guys, this is so good. Holy cow, you can't, this is the worst angle I think I've ever done. That was a new record. That was so fun. I want to do virtual cooking classes with you guys. Like Matt and I in the kitchen, and we all like Zoom together, and we just hang out. I feel like that'd be so fun, no? Let me know. What do you think? Mmm! This shit is so good. This is such a fun idea. Let me know if you guys would be interested in somehow doing like a virtual cooking class. I just think that would be so fun. I also look insane. Okay. Now I have to go back to studying. I have my exam tomorrow. By the time I'm editing this, I'm just gonna put it out in the universe. I will be a registered dietitian. You got this, bitch. You got this. You guys? I'm a dietitian. <laughs> Woo! And to celebrate, we got our favorite Indian food. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm so hungry. No. <laughs> and congratulations. <laughs> I'm like, this to you. <laughs> um, okay, this is the Malai Kofta dish that I talked about in my last video that I like remade mm. with the falafel mix. Obviously not traditional at all, but as you can see, let me cut it open. As you can see. As you can see, it's like a falafel like in there, but it's a dumpling. Different. And they're very, I think there's cheese in them in like a traditional uh, recipe, I'm not really sure. But we got a tarka in Houston, so good. We get the malai kofta, the coconut rice is so good. We get curry, uh, no wait, what is this? Chicken tikka masala and then barani rice. Matt has that right there, we got two. There's like, or no. Paneer but barani. Paneer rice. Paneer it's like big chunks of cheese. Place. It's actually all vegetarian except there's chicken in this one. How funny. You guys, but I'm a freaking dietitian. I can't wait. I'll do a whole video on like all the details and everything, but oh, I'm so excited. Also, it's got this PR in the mail from Natural Nutra. Some supplements. What do I get? Natural papaya enzymes. 
kelp with iodine and magnesium. So I'll be trying these guys out. But guys, I'm so freaking happy. Oh, yeah. Wow. I will make a better video about it, but I'm just in the moment right now. We did it. We did it. Woo. You guys. I'm a dietitian. I'm a dietitian, you guys. I'm a dietitian. I'm a dietitian. I passed my exam yesterday. Oh my god. I'm like, I feel like I'm hungover from studying. Like, my body had so much like adrenaline and nerves leading up to it, and now I'm just like, holy cow. So tired. So freaking happy. I'm gonna do like a whole video on how I prepare for the exam. This is my first time taking it, um, and I got 28. The scoring is weird, unless you're in dietetics, that doesn't really make sense. I'm so excited. Uh, today is Saturday, and I'm going to the rodeo. Houston, baby. I'm going to see John Party. I'm very excited. And I just finished coaching at a 45, and now I'm about to get ready, and I want to kind of get ready with you. I'm going to wear this romper from Princess Polly. Um, I'm doing a video with them. You guys know I love Princess Polly. They're like off the shoulder, or you can wear it up. I'm not sure yet. It's this really pretty chalk of brown. Cinches in the middle, and then it's like these cute little shorts. It looks like a little dress. And then at, with them, these are also from Princess Polly. I have these boots. Um, I love these boots for, like these cowboy boots specifically for going out in like outdoor concerts because they're pleather, or whatever they are, they're really easy to clean. You just wipe them off. Clearly, I have not cleaned these off yet. My other ones, I have white boots from Dolce Vita, and I love them. First of all, they were way more expensive. These were like 50 bucks, and then the other ones I think were like 200, but they're a material that, that you can't really like just wipe off, so I wouldn't wear them to outdoor concerts. Um, I'm just gonna freshen up my face with like a makeup wipe really quick. But you guys, I'm so excited. Oh. Long time coming. Four years of school without one exam. And we did it. We passed. I literally started crying. Like, so I took it at a test center and it's basically a big room and a lot of people around you are taking other exams. Like you're not taking the same exams. Well, you might be, but you have no idea. And there was like people supervising you, AKA watching you so you don't like cheat or anything in like a glass box. Oh, sorry, I almost got my eyes. And when you're done with the exam, you're supposed to raise your hand. And my exam finished, I get the last question. And they made me take like a 12 question survey on how I, like how my experience was with the testing center, how the people were, and I was like, I do not care about this, like this 12 questions, just tell me my score. Cause you find out immediately, which is really nice. Oh. And so, I raced through those <laughs> questions and then I saw my score. It took like five seconds to load and I was like freaking out and then it happened and I literally went my, put my hands up and I had a mask on but my eyes just started like watering. <laughs> but I had the biggest smile. I probably looked insane. But guys, we did it. Big day here. Um, taking some toner. I didn't wash my face again. I just like did the makeup, makeup wipe. And then I'm just gonna do basic skincare because I'm gonna be out in the sun, so I don't wanna do any of my like actives. I already put those on this morning, um, so they were on for a few hours. I'm just gonna do toner, my hyaluronic acid, and then uh, my moisturizer and sunscreen, of course. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just wanna get ready with you and chat because I feel like. I know I have not been good about keeping up with you guys. Oh. It is just like the biggest relief. It looks like I'm breaking out here, but it's just like irritated. I think just my stress from the exam. I had like two or three pimples like pop up and I was like, it's not cool, but I think it's definitely just stress from my exam. I just used my first aid beauty. My toner and my hyaluronic acid that I use are from 
uh, Clear Essentials, which I think is just the brand that they sell at my facial place. If you guys are in Houston, Houston Acne Specialists have saved my life, saved my skin. All right, putting on some sunscreen. And with sunscreen, you wanna make sure that you don't rub it in because it's gonna pill. So I do dabs all over it and then kind of like press it in. Oh, you guys, I'm so happy. I'm so tired right now. One of my girlfriends is gonna come over and get ready for the concert too. And then we're gonna just take the train down. Um, Matt is at a sales conference in Houston, so he'll be a little later. Excess on the back of your hands, sunscreen. And let's do makeup. For makeup as of late, so I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Love this stuff. I'm in four neutral. And then I need a new concealer. I'm out of mine. I'm just using the NYX one right now. This NYX. Can't stop, won't stop in light ivory. And then I set my face just certain areas with this Shape Tape Glow Powder. It's not like chalk or chunky or anything. It's just like a slight glow. And I just set like areas that kind of crease. And I go with my Makeup Revolution Bronzer in 01 Cool. Um, and then blush, I've been using this Blushing in Bali BH Cosmetics. I forgot I had this. Um, really affordable, I hold up. And then mascara, I just have the Falsies. And yeah, I've been trying out this Refi eyebrow thing. I don't know if I love it. It gets, I know it takes a while to work, like get to figure out how it works on your eyes, but I feel like it's just like chunky in mine and I don't know. My eyebrows aren't that serious, you know, but we'll see. And I'll show you, I have to steam my dress or romper. And I'll show you the whole fit when we're done. All right, finish my makeup. Can you see that glow? Ooh, it's going natural light maybe. Wow, I don't know if you can even tell. Um, but my skin, you guys, is looking so good. And I know I say that, I feel like every, I almost said episode. <laughs> every video now. Um, but I'm just so happy. Uh, again, Houston Acne Specialist. I haven't seen myself with makeup on in a while because I've just been studying and honestly felt and looked not great. <laughs> so it's nice to kind of take my time, put my makeup on. Oh, I was looking through some old makeup, not old, but like makeup that isn't in my everyday bag. Cause I was trying to find white eyeliner to put on my waterline, but I couldn't find it. But I did find this Milani lip gloss in champagne. You guys, it's so good. Can you see? Oh, I've sneezed. Oh, it'll be interesting to see what I look like sneezing. Might watch that back. Um, but you guys, it's so cute. It has, it's like a light pink and very, very subtle flecks of like a champagne color. But you can't really tell. I was, if you guys are ever wondering what my lips look like, that's the same. I'm gonna steam my, hello? Hello? I'm gonna steam my romper and then put it on and I'll see my outfit. All right, you guys, this is the final outfit. I feel really cute. <laughs> um, yeah, so everything Princess Polly. These necklaces actually are all Amazon. Um, I can flip them this way so you can see a little better. Um, the cross one, it's beautiful. Amazon, and then the B one is also Amazon. The W, I can't remember where I got. If you guys are new here or don't know. Um, my new last name is gonna start with a W. So you can call me Blair Ward. It'll be Ward, it'll be my new last name. Um, so yep, that's the W stands for. I just think it's cute. It's a cute way to do like a name necklace with like still that trend of layering a bunch of simple necklaces. Cute. All right, um, I am probably gonna put press on nails on because my nails are so gross. Fun fact, one of my really bad habits whenever I'm nervous, um, AKA taking a examination or studying, I just rip and destroy my nails. It's my worst habit for sure. Um, but I don't touch them when I have my nails done 
So it's another reason why I get my nails done because it makes my real nails grow out longer underneath. Whatever. But um, I am gonna, I don't have time to go and get them done yet. I think I might go tomorrow after I coach um, in the morning. But yeah, I just miss having my nails done. I think I mentioned it, but I was holding off getting my nails done until I passed my exam. I was like, this is me bribing myself. <laughs> Hi, you guys. It is Monday morning right now. And I, it's gonna be a good day, okay? I slept in for the first time in a long time, which I needed. I am about to go do my first workout in a month. I literally took one full month off from working out to really focus on my exam, study. My body was so tired every day from studying and I just wanted to give myself a break. And plus, like I love giving myself breaks to kind of reignite that fire, you know, when I get back into it. But I'm very excited I'm working out for the first time. I coached this morning's classes. Okay, so I guess I didn't sleep in. I woke up at 4.45, but I, w I coached the 5.15 a.m. class and the 6 class, 6 a.m. class, but then I came home and I slept until like 10. So I've not been able to do that because I would just go and study right away. So that that's what I meant. That was super nice. Um, but I just woke up and I got a lot of packages, so I wanna show you those today in the vlog. And then I'm also gonna make my granola, my homemade granola that I've been loving. It's so freaking good, you guys. And I wanna show you how I do it. Um, okay, ignore, we have so many dishes. I have to do all that today. It's so bad, but. This is the granola I've been loving. I just make it at home really quickly. Whatever nuts I have on hand. So I always try to have pepitas on hand and pecan halves and pieces. I need to get more of these. And then I'm just doing pistachios today because I have these left over from our little that cooking class I did. And then also my favorite unsweetened coconut chips from Thrive. So I'm gonna put these all in a pan, a dry pan. All right, so I have a dry pan here. I'm gonna put it on low to medium heat. And you're just gonna kind of let them get fragrant. Don't let them burn. Do not do a high heat. This is a slow process. And you're just gonna kind of shake them intermediately. And then I'm also gonna add some cinnamon and then also some honey. I'll drizzle on the top. Once these get a little toasted, so maybe like three minutes till they're fragrant, you'll smell them. Um, and then I'm gonna drizzle honey and then you just let it cool in the fridge and it literally cracks apart like bark. It is so good. It's been on for about three minutes. They're getting fragrant. So I have this local honey. I'm gonna drizzle some on. Let me put you here on top of our cinnamon. This is the honey that one of you guys sent that your dad has a beef on or a bee. I don't know what the terminology is, but it's so nice. Um, we use it all the time in our teas, oatmeal. All right, that sizzle the cinnamon while the honey is in and it smells so good in here at this point and you just toss everything around get the honey all through again ignore our dirty ass so I'm sorry I need to clean it I'm also gonna do a crack of salt just to bring out some of the sweetness and then that is gonna be it. Then you just let it cool. I put it in Tupperware in the fridge. Turn off the heat because you do not want it to burn. You don't want those oils to get rancid. And then I'm gonna put it in this Tupperware. And then when I get back from the gym, Mm. All right. All right, ideally I put it in like a shallower Tupperware so that I could, it could spread out more, but this is fine. I'm gonna pop, pop it in the fridge and then by the time I get back from my workout, it's gonna be chilled and I'm gonna make a smoothie and then I'll use it as a topper. This one looks so good. You can use anything. I've done slivered almonds before, walnuts, like whatever nuts seeds you have work and it's just so pretty coconut chips 
have been a game changer though. That is something I do recommend. Over the shreds. I like the chips because they get, they just like hold the texture better. You guys. <laughs> I just got back from the gym from my first workout in a month. And dang, that was tough. That was tough. I did a cardio day at F45. Um, and obviously taking breaks. Doing all that is normal. I actually recommend it. I think it's very good for you and I feel rejuvenated. What? Come here. I wanna say hi. Oh. Say hi. Um, I feel great getting back into it. I'm probably gonna do like three times this week. Slowly just get back into it, not go every day. Um, typically I do like five days a week. But I'm gonna start off like three this week. Just kind of play it by ear, see how I'm feeling. Um, but I want to get my nails done. But I want to quickly show you guys some products that I just ordered. We have a little grocery haul. I have some PR stuff from like a really cool skincare company, and then a quick little Amazon haul. So I figured I'd just show it all to you right now. All right, so I'll start off with Thrive Market. You guys know I get my monthly box from them. I've been a member with them since for years, okay, I love them. And it, everything gets delivered right to your door and it's the cheapest pricing I've ever found for like really niche like supplement type health foods, but they have a ton of stuff on their website. I'm dairy free right now for my skin. So I'm able to just go on the website. You can pick different uh, dietary needs that you have, like there's gluten-free, paleo, vegan, whatever you are, and uh, drop down the menu, click that, and then everything that'll show up is gonna be within those dietary restrictions. So it's super easy to use. But let's hop into the haul. All right, let's start with usuals, get them out of the way, and then we'll hop into the fun stuff. So I got two more of my favorite curries. I love these curries, they're vegan, meaning they're dairy-free, which you know we love. A lot of them will have like milk or just some sort of milk product in them. I think these have coconut. Yeah, coconut cream as their ingredients. So I will do a packet of this with a can of coconut or a can of chickpeas and then like a third cup to a half cup of coconut cream or coconut milk just in the can. Super easy, quick lunch, high protein plant-based meal. Great fiber, we love it. All right, if it, it wouldn't be a Thrive Market haul unless I talked about my bone broth that I love. One more beef one and then one chicken. I love these, you guys know the chicken one's my favorite, but y'all keep selling them out. So. I don't want to be greedy and get five like I normally do. I just got two. Um, oh, okay. This is a new item. So I wanted to try out these salted maple pecan yes bars. They just look really cute. They're vegan, gluten-free, plant-based, no dairy, eggs, or soy. They are made of almonds, cashews, maple syrup, sunflower seeds, macadamia nuts, pumpkin seeds, coconut butter, pecans, a bunch of just great ingredients. Um, and they're pretty large. I already opened them and I already had one on my test day. So great brain food, you know? And yeah, I really like them. They taste good. There's a lot of different flavors on the website. So next time I want to try a different flavor, but definitely recommend. This is like the maple pecan. Yeah, it tastes like a pecan pie. Gives you pecan pie vibes. I'm not gonna be like, it tastes like a pecan pie. But like for a bar that's healthy, you know. We, you got you you understand what I'm saying. All right. Oh, one more restock. I, we always just get avocado oil spray. Cheapest on Thrive. Now let's do. I have supplements and all right. We'll do this. I got some sweet drops. These are vanilla cream flavored stevia sweetened. I don't always use these, but when I do want like a sweeter coffee or a sweeter matcha, or I don't really bake with it. I don't really bake <laughs> in general. But um, yeah, I like these. Just a couple drops to sweeten up whatever coffee, if I don't like a vanilla latte or something. Um, speaking of lattes, I got this golden milk turmeric made with organic turmeric, ashwagandha, and dates. Um, and it's just like a little warm drink that you can have at night, or I guess you can have at any time of day. But you guys know how I love my tea. I love my like magnesium drinks at night. I still use the, I got from Thrive two months ago. I'm like that way much done with it this helped me so much with my anxiety for my exam you guys I, this and my cbd i was like <laughs> they were my best friends and my weighted blanket 
I developed the worst test anxiety like three days before my exam. I couldn't sleep. I woke up feeling like I missed my exam, feeling like I failed and had to retake it. Um, and then I started taking my magnesium and then my CBD and my weighted blanket, just like sleeping with it, helped so much. So really love that. But um, I wanted to try this out. Obviously turmeric is anti-inflammatory and this also has black pepper in it as well. As well. Yep, to help activate it. And I don't know, I just thought it could be a fun switch up. I love my nightly little Hermit with the walk. I love my little nightly latte tea drinks. So I figured this would be a nice little, I don't know, toss it in the lineup, right? Let's smell it. Have you, have you guys tried any of these? Okay, it smells good. It has cardamom, dates, it's a little sweeter vanilla bean. I mean, don't get me wrong, it still gives you turmeric right in the face. There is a lot of benefits with like anti-inflammatory diets and including turmeric. Obviously, I am all about anti-inflammatory things in general. Also, warning, this might be TMI. This might be TMI. It might change the color of your bowel movements a little bit, but don't get alarmed. It might look a little yellow. Turmeric is powerful, man. It just stains it like gets on everything if you have white nails and you like have turmeric something on there it you'll you'll know it, it makes its mark you know okay two more supplements oh i wanted to get these daily uh essential enzymes basically just like digestive enzymes you take a few or how many one capsule before you eat um and it just helps with digesting your food i don't know i wanted to try these out a lot of these things i um Obviously, I'm now a dietitian. Oh my God, crazy. Patients with like GI issues and stuff. I just like to like try out things. Um, sometimes I do feel like I get a little backed up. I have some digestive issues sometimes. So I just thought these would be good to have on hand. And try them out for myself. If I'm gonna recommend them to someone, I wanna try them out first, you know? All right, and lastly, this is a wild card. All right, I don't know what, I mean, I know I want like long hair. This is like a healthy hair thing. It's from, Arv de wait, I can never say this. <laughs> Aru <laughs> Aruvedic. I know that's not correct. I can never pronounce it. It's like one of those words where I see it and I just like read it quickly and then I never actually say it and then when I have to say it I'm like I don't know how to speak. So um this one is promotes growth and of thick lustrous hair. Ingredients looks great. We'll see how it is. I'll let you guys know how I like it. All right, so that is my Thrive Market haul. All right, guys, so if you want to try out Thrive Market, you can go ahead and click the link down below um, and get 40% off your first order and a free gift over $50. So I will have all the stuff down below, but it's just thrivemarket.com slash Blair Cooley. Same as always. You guys know I love Thrive. It's a thing at this point. I think we all know. Also, last time when I posted the bone broth, the comments were like, the reason why we don't have, you don't have bone broth on the site is because y'all are trying it and loving it. I love when I get your feedback on like recommendations if you've tried them out. Um, so I'm really glad you guys are also liking this and now it makes sense why they're not on Thrive anymore. I mean, they're still on Thrive, but they're always like, you know, they had to restock. They needed a minute to catch up to all of us crazy bone broth fiends. All right, next we got some stuff from Burst, which is a drugstore brand but it's like clean beauty. They let me pick out five items. These I already use. These are their mood lighting drops. So they're like illuminating drops. I wore them on my legs. I wore it. I rubbed them on my legs when I went to the rodeo in that brown romper, but loved these. This is the box they came in. Um, then I'm gonna try out this like hyaluronic acid serum because I am work I love hyaluronic acid. Wow, I cannot speak. Hyaluronic acid, then a vitamin C, retinol, this enzyme resurfacing mask, and then this fun headband. It's like a cushy headband. Um, and just, if you guys are wondering, I'm still using the Houston Acne Specialist regimen. They're like a local spot. If you guys are here in Houston, I cannot stress enough how much you have to go try them out if you're struggling with your skin. They literally, I can't describe how I feel about my skin now. I'm so happy about it. Um, okay, wait. Herman wants to go outside with me. Let him out. Feel free. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, my skin right now is looking a little, a little much because I just got out of the shower, but um, it's really clear for how it used to be, if you guys are not new here. I'm going to see my girls at Houston Acne Specialist tomorrow for, I typically go every other week for facial, but I had to take the whole month off. I was studying, I was in like a 12 hour review class for it, which I'm gonna talk all about how I did that. It was like via Zoom, so anyone could take it, whoever is studying, highly recommend. I passed my first time, so I highly recommend. And that it came highly recommended from other dietitians as well. But I'll do a whole video on that, because I know not everyone is becoming a dietitian. Then, oh, Amazon order, let me, these are really cute. Oh God, one of my worst habits, keeping that open. All right, we're doing a book club. Me and my girlfriends are doing a book club here, so Verity is the book we picked, and I finally started reading it. I'm only a chapter in because I wasn't reading it while I was studying, obviously, but good so far, and obviously I've heard amazing things, and I love Colin Hoover, so it'll be a quick read. Um, then I got these cool sunglasses. Look at these, guys. These give me, like, designer vibes. I don't really know what the brand, maybe Versace. I don't know. There's a V on them. It came a two-pack for $12, and... They're really cute. And then also, I talked about these already, but my necklaces, my necklace stack that I've been wearing lately. A little W for my last name, my new last name. A B for my current first name. And then a cross. Yeah, that is this crazy haul. I'm going to put all this away now. Finally, this under here is so hectic. Guys, this whole box, okay, well, except of course the things on top. This whole box is full of product empties that I wanna review with you guys. Um, like things I've tried out and I wanna talk about. So, I've been saving my trash yet again. There's like protein powders in here, random stuff. Like, I just have a box of trash sitting under here. I have not been able to film anything because I've been so busy, but I'm so happy that I can finally uh, focus on YouTube again. I missed you guys. What is everyone doing? Uh, are you eating rocks? You guys, I can't make this up. He was literally eating rocks. Uh, <laughs> can you even see him? He's just staring. <laughs> and people have kids somehow. I don't know. I can barely take care of him. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to be back, you guys. I'm gonna get my nails done. I think I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna get tips, um, because this is so embarrassing how I bite my nails when I'm nervous, and they are just horrible right now. So I wanna get tips, and then I think I'm just gonna do like a classic French, because I just, I wanna feel girly again, and I haven't had my nails done in like two months, I wanna say. I literally held off to bribe myself so that I could take my exam. And then I'm also gonna schedule a hair appointment because I haven't got my hair done since before my brother's wedding last year, which was July. But it was even before my, my sister-in-law's bachelorette party, which I think was in May. So it's almost been a year. And my hair is clearly grown out. I do wanna go like a little darker, I think, if you guys saw. I prank on Matt where I dyed my hair with this stuff, this like magic root touch up spray. Um, I don't wanna go that dark, I don't think. Not yet, I don't wanna go that dark. <laughs> um, but I don't know, maybe put some low lights in. I'm talking to my hair cells about it, we have a plan. We'll see. Changes are coming, things are happening. I'm a dietitian. That's all I gotta say about that. Guys, literally we hosted people. We hosted people after the rodeo. And I literally, uh, I need to do that. I need to get to that. That is something I need to do. That and my taxes. Those are fun, those are adult things that I've been putting off. All I wanna do is read on the couch. Read my new book, but I'm gonna get my nails done. And that's that. That's that. All right, also I wanna show you my <laughs> man. Literally gets up from laying down to walk over here. 
I want to show you how this turned out. So, I left it in the fridge, I was at the gym. And now, let me get a spoon or something. Breaking it up. I can't do this with one hand, that's the issue. Breaking this up. You could put it on parchment paper and that would obviously be way easier. But we don't have that right now. <laughs> and you guys, look at these like chunks of granola now that I have. It's so good. Listen, okay, let me just do a little crunch test. Oh. That was just all coconut chips. Like, look at that. Beautiful. You can obviously break it up more, but I kind of like the chunky granola. But, like, it just breaks everywhere. Herm, please don't eat my granola. Then just keep it in the fridge. It stays cold and crisp. I mean, it never lasts longer than like two days in our house. And it's so easy to make. Very versatile. A lot of good healthy fats. It's so good. I put it on top of smoothies and on yogurt. That's like my two favorite ways to use it. But it, you can use it however you like to use granola. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, Matt's home. Holy then. I can see you in the mirror. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my nails done finally. I've been putting it off all day. But um, I'm wearing my trusty blazer from Forever 21 that I love, that I've always been linking for the past, I don't know, months, two months, no, three months probably, I don't know. Got my Vivrel bag, I have, this is my newest one, it's the uh, Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack, you just like rent them for a month and then send them back. So trendy. So trendy. Um, this little top is so cute, it's from Amazon and it's like a V, they have so many colors, it's really flattering because the V cut, Jeans are Princess Polly, and shoes are just New Balances. And then jewelry is all Amazon. Gonna go get our French manicure done. I want like the chunky French, like a thick white, and I'm gonna get tips, it'll be cute. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm back, we made my nails done, and this is what I got, can you, I just got French, like I said. Don't. Don't judge my cuticles, okay? I am a nail biter, cuticle biter. Just got regular French classic, you know, like the high arch. I think they're so cute. Go with everything. Um, yeah, I went to a new place today. It was really good. And guys, you'll, you'll understand how big of a deal this is. The lady who was doing my nails, who I just met and then held her hand for an hour, she was like, what do you use on your skin? It's so glowy. And I was like, try not to freak out, but I was like, you have no idea how much that means to me. <laughs> like when you struggle with your skin, like you know, when someone compliments your skin, I, like best thing you could say. Also, I don't know why this is so yellow. Hopefully I can fix it, but yep, just got my nails. My nails did, I just think they're really cute. And I feel like myself again. And we're a dietitian, yeah, yeah. All right, for dinner, we have a green chef meal we can make, like one leftover from last week um, that we didn't get to making because after my exam, I was like, I don't wanna cook anything. I just wanna sit and order food. We got Indian food. But I did make salmon and so I have leftover salmon, and I'm thinking, ew, that looked so gross. <laughs> thinking, do I make Emily Mariko's salmon bowl? I might, I might do that. I don't wanna waste the salmon, and I don't know when we're else we're gonna eat it. Also, I still need to do this. <laughs> it's been a minute, okay. But um, I think I'm just gonna do, yeah, make some rice, and then we have like sriracha, I'm gonna do cucumbers, avocado, sh uh, shaved carrots. We don't have, oh, we don't have any seaweed. We have to go to the grocery store, clearly. But, um, yeah. Oh my God, guys, this is all of my study materials. All of this. I don't need any more. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm gonna keep it, just to reference if I ever need to, but 
four years of dietetic school. This is one big study guide. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that's over. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make some rice. And Matt is at the gym. He said he'll be back around seven. And it's Monday night. It's Monday night, Herm. Bachelor night. Oh, we haven't been watching for the past two or three weeks because. Um, oh, one Monday night we went and saw Cody Johnson at the Houston Rodeo. But um, the other night. Oh, it was. I just was studying for my exam. So. We weren't watching TV that much. Um, I'll speak at Houston Rodeo. If you guys are in Houston or surrounding areas and you want tickets to the rodeo, Matt and I have season tickets to all the concerts and we can't make all of them, so we are selling them. If you guys are interested, let me know. You can either EM, email me or DM me on Instagram. Um, the tickets are sent via email, so we don't have to like, meet up or anything. You just Venmo me. But let me know if you guys are interested. Mm. Uh, if any shows that are coming up, let me know. I probably have tickets available, so let me know. All right, I'm gonna make food because I'm hungry. We have Herman here, I'm eating a carrot and he wants it. Can you sit? Let's show them what you can do. All right, guys. Can you see him? Come here. Come here. You gotta face this one. Sit. Sit. Ha. Oh. Good boy. Nom, 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 nom. We love you, carrot. I really need to teach you how to eat with your mouth, chew with your mouth closed, huh? All right, another one. Paul, thank you. Mm, what a handsome gentleman. Mm. All right, I have the Bachelorette Woman's Tell All pause because Matt's on his way home. I would change and making dinner. I already told you the salmon's like prepped. We already made it. So leftover like salmon bowls, cucumber, jalapeno, bell pepper. I just peeled some carrots. That's what I'm eating the rest of it. Green onion, avocado, leftovers. And then, oh my God, my art stove, so gross. I did some white rice with vinegar, honey, a little salt, just like sushi rice. I have a glass of wine and I did most of the dishes. I put them in there, I'm running a load. So these have to be hand washed, but I just like could not deal with it right now. So that's what we're doing. And we're gonna ooh, make a sauce with the QP mayo and sriracha. It's gonna be so good. All right, this is Matt's Dinner, he's gonna add a filet of salmon on top. He, we just have a bunch of salad on the bottom. We got one of these sesame sweet Asian mixes. We always get at least like one or two of these at the store because they're just such an easy meal. You either add a protein or eat them plain. It's great. So I have a little bit here. I'm gonna add my rice and salmon mixture on top. Then we're gonna have a little bit of the dressing, some of the wontons, and then the toppings. And yeah, it's basically gonna look like this but mine's gonna have salmon in it, his is gonna be on top. The only difference, we put some ginger, pickled ginger, some wasabi, a little soy sauce, uh, well, coconut aminos, our favorite sriracha, mayo, avocado. It's a great din. It's basically like a sushi bowl with a lot of extra veg. Oh my God, it started playing because it's been over 30 minutes. <sighs> Need to unmute it. Crazy, all right, we're gonna sign off. Matt's walking Herman right now. So, all right, you better hurry up because we got, got, got to watch. Got to watch all the tea unfold. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, oh. Hello. <laughs> it just started playing. Are we going to go outside? It's the woman's tell all, man. Yeah. They're going to tell everything. <laughs> Matt pretends like he doesn't want to watch, but it's Clayton. He knew know him. Hey, my eyes are <laughs> a little, like... I made you this. Okay. You like them? Yes, I do. Thanks. Very nice. All right. So let's say bye. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. 
We'll catch you in the next one. What do you have to say for yourself, Matt? Go Kooks. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> Well, Cassie was the first page one. Shanae! Jean-Vierre! Jean-Vierre! I saw a picture of Clayton with a dude that... Bachelor Nation. Oh, he's on the new football field. That was sad. Hey, that was you guys. So handsome. So handsome. Such a dreamboat.